So this is a review of the Rug Doctor Pro. I rented it from my local Menards this morning to do some area rugs. I've got seven or eight area rugs. They're all about eight by 10, nine, nine by 10, something like that. But let's look at this. So this is the Rug Doctor Pro. Now at, at my Menards in Southeast Wisconsin, you can rent one of two. This is the stronger, bigger one. And uh, I think it was about 40 bucks for 24 hours. And the next 24 hours is still 40 bucks. Here's how it works. Um, well, really just a couple tips for, for, for now. This handle does not have a release. You're gonna think it does. Hold here and just pull it straight back. It's plastic, it's a little wobbly, it's a little cheap, but it works great. The suction power is amazing. I weigh about 210, I'm 5'9". I'm not weak. This is a workout, um, any way you look at it. So what I'd recommend when you're going forward, put your hips into it and let your body push it forward. When you're coming back, just send your arms all the way, come back slowly like that. Uh, when this fills with dirty water, you're gonna hear a little click and the sound will change. It's kind of like if you've ever used a shop vac and it got full, that little ball comes up and, and stops the suction. You can empty this anytime, but if you hear that, you have to empty it. How do you empty it? You push button on top here, it says dirty water tank release. Push that down, comes right out. Now I'll tell you, when you take it out, it's full of dirty water and it's gonna drip a little bit off the bottom sometimes. So don't do it over the carpet you just cleaned or over something you don't wanna get dirty. Just move it off, uh, move the whole unit off and empty it somewhere else. You take this off the back, Comes right off, pour it right out, easy. Lean it in, push it right back in, just like that. Uh, what other tips do we have? Well, let's see. Once you get the hang of it, if you got a lot of carpet to do, you, you back it up on its wheels and get to your starting point again. Remember to overlap by about half. You're gonna wanna, well, once you get going, you can snap it down and pull it back like that. Pull it up and then you can reposition it. Pop it down, pull it back. On the top of the handle, there's a one and a two. If you push the button, it's a button. If you push the button over to one, that is suction, that is suction and a rotating brush. Over to two is just the suction, no brush. Now I'll tell you what happened here. I acquired seven or eight rugs. The lady didn't want them. She said they smelled like dogs, and a couple of them did. And I laid them out just like this, and I thought, well, I can just soak them down with, with hot water and scrub them. I took a really heavy-duty uh, broom and carpet cleaner and I scrub it like crazy in all directions. Then I power sprayed it out and I hung everything up to dry and they still stunk. Uh, I used just a regular strong carpet cleaning product, uh, but this time I went and got One that Menard sells, the one that Menard sells, uh, which is made for the rug doctor, it's called Max Advanced. Uh, it says it's their best formula, cleans up the four rooms. That's what I'm going to use. It says commercial grade in black at the top. It's about 20 bucks a bottle. Uh, I just thought let's do it once and do it right. I got two of them just in case. I'll let you know how that goes if that's enough. So that was Menards. Uh, I just think it's worth it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. There's a your clean buckets on the back. Same thing. Push the button. Release the handle. This is about. Well, it says on the on the back. I think it's six ounces. Yeah, six ounces for every gallon of hot water. Don't use warm. Don't use cold. Use hot. And yeah, I don't know. It's heavy. Um, it's not terrible, but it, it is heavy if you got it loaded in a car. 
Um, when I'm doing these area rugs, I go over the edge just a little bit, very slowly, because you know water's going to collect on the edges, and I just take my time coming back. I'm doing half of the rug at a time. Again, these aren't done yet uh, because my system didn't work, and then it rained, so <laughs> the rugs got full, soaking full of water. I pulled probably two to three gallons of water out of each one of these rugs today. And um, now I'm going to reintroduce hot water and soap. Give it a try. We'll get back to you and, and see how the rug doctor does. I think it's going to work great.